welcome to Fiber Warrior, My New Normal. I'm MJ Aragon, and I'm here with my producers, JoJo Merricks. Hey. And Tony Jeffries. Hi. Today, I'm, uh, I'm going to share Katie Key's blog. Uh, she goes by Disabled and Momming It, and she has these lovely bracelets. Oh, I that's where you got that from? Here. Yes. Oh, okay, So cool. I'm going to read her blog today. Disabled and Momming It? Yes. That's oh, what, sweet. Yeah, that's what she has. And uh, they're in uh, Canada. Mm -hmm. And uh, her and her hubby, her hubby's really awesome, helps her out, like, getting, getting the word out there. So they reached out to me when they came across our Facebook page and asked if I'd share. And, of course, I was happy to. Um, they're beautiful bracelets. I love mine. I wear it all the time. And uh, so if you want to purchase one of these beautiful bracelets, I have uh, shared it on, my, on our uh, Fiber Warrior, my new normal Facebook page. And I will do it again just to, uh, uh, so you guys can find it easily when I post this podcast. Okie dokie. And then um, I'm going to share a few tips with you, with you guys, what I do because I have the redness in the face because you know how we get hot and flushed sometimes. My eyes get a little red. Um, so I'm going to share just a couple of tips of what I do and things that I keep in my purse with me all the time just in case if I need to touch up. And what I do on days when my face is fine and what I do on my days when it's really red or, you know, and when I stay home, I, I don't really do anything. So, um, so I'm going to talk about that. And let's see, let's find her her blog it's really cute so it's cute it's it's pretty much what we all deal with I'm sure every day or almost every day and uh, I really liked it I thought it was cute so uh she called it once again she's it says uh it's disabled and mommy it that she goes through uh uses on her blog or katiekins and uh it's called parenthood and the pursuit of tea I want a cup of tea so I put the kettle on Set my cup up with a tea bag and wait for the water to boil. See the dirty dishes and wash them up while the kettle boils. The kettle boils. I turn it off quickly while I finish the last of the dishes and dry my hands. Finish the dishes and move on to another task on the list. Forget the tea. 20 minutes later, remember the tea. Put the kettle on. I wait. It boils. Pour the tea. Bring it with me to my spot at the table and let it steep. Child is up. Go tend to his sweet little self. Play time, tickle time, remember the tea, reheat the tea, sit and wait while it reheats, staring as it, at it as to not forget. It's heated, I add sugar, then milk, ah, tea, I take a sip. Little one comes trotting up, uppa, uppa, put my tea down, don't want to burn the baby. Play with the baby, chase the baby, read with the baby, I forget the tea. I remember the tea. I reheat the tea. It goes into the microwave where it is now removed from my immediate environment. And therefore, my mind, I forget the tea. Dinner, prep, work, kids, clean, play with the babies, more dinner prep, laundry. Over an hour passes. I remember the tea. I reheat the tea. I sit at the goddamn table and drink the goddamn tea while I finish folding the laundry. Fold, sip, fold, sip. Ah, tea. Laundry is folded. Tea is half consumed. Finally, go put the laundry away. Fight with the littlest to keep the folded clothes folded and in the drawers. Tidy as I go, pick up dishes, do the dishes, forget the tea. 20 minutes pass. I remember the tea. Now I know that I do this on occasion. A little bit of buzzing, you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I do this, on, not on occasion, I do this often actually. I can't tell you how many times I get up and the first thing I do is uh, I make myself something to, so cream of wheat, like I've mentioned many times, because of my medication, it upsets my stomach. So I do that, make myself tea, and then uh, I'll turn on my Keurig machine, sit down and start reading messages and answering messages and checking the Facebook page and all the other sites, our other outlets, YouTube and the Word, WordPress and, and so, by the time I'm doing all that, I realize that I've either started it and forgotten it, or turned it on and forgotten it, or made it and then forgot. Either way, somewhere in that process, I've forgotten it. And so I either end up realizing, oh, I just have to go start it now, or I've left it sitting and it's now cold. So like her, this happens often. And it's such a simple thing just to get on the phone and look at a few things and you're and the time just passes you by right. and then you realize oh crap you know so it's not so bad when i have it i just forgot to start it no big deal because then it's hot and whatever but if i make my cream wheat and it's cold 
Yeah, no. I can't stand Cold cream and wheat is not good. Yeah. I can't eat it then, and I'm like it's forcing myself yeah. because I'm too lazy to go in the microwave and heat it up. So I'm forcing myself to eat the cold cream and wheat so mm-hmm. that my medication went up to my stomach. So, you know, I, I go through that. So I totally relate, but I thought it was a cute little thing because it, I'm sure that we all do this. We all uh, start something and then don't finish it. And so I'm like, I told her, I'm like, I'm going to read this. She's like, awesome. She was thrilled that I was going to read it for her. So. I'm yeah, going nice. to, yeah, I thought it was really cute. So um, when I'm not going anywhere or doing anything, uh, as you know, I, I take Adderall to help me keep my brain together. And on the days when I don't have anything particular planned and I don't have to do anything, I don't have the podcast or a blog to write or anything, um, and I know I'm just going to be home watching TV or something, or I won't take it. And I also won't bother putting on makeup. I just usually put my hair up on top of my head and, you know, that's it for the day. Um, now, if I go run errands and I'm not doing anything special, I'm, I'm going to use uh, makeup because it just makes us feel a little bit better. But I'm not going to use a lot if I'm having a good day and my skin isn't acting right. So if my skin is acting all right and I'm having a good day, this stuff is lovely. It's it's a really lightweight. It's called Pixie for you, those of you who aren't watching, uh, Pixie H2O Skin Tint. Um, it comes in three different shades, I believe. I think I got one of the darker ones. But the stuff is like so smooth when you put it on. It's very lightweight, and I love just throwing that on and maybe doing my eyelashes and then maybe some, and what some is lip that? gloss that's, on. That's this makeup? is like a, it's a, it's, it's a foundation. It's, it's kind of like a foundation. It's a, it's a sheer tinted water-based gel, and it says apply as you would moisturizer, moisturizer and pat onto skin. So it's not really a foundation. It's not heavy right, like it's that. Not as heavy it's as very very lightweight. So, so it gives your skin some color. It evens out like any splotches or if your face is maybe tiny bit flushed or whatever. It it just gives a nice even color and smooth everything out. And it's not heavy. Doesn't feel like you have makeup on. And you know it's it's I think it was like twenty dollars. $18. I mean, right. it was, I mean, it's not the cheapest thing, unfortunately, but I found this at Target and I really love it. Like I said, when you put it on, it's so smooth, very, very lightweight. Right. Now on those days when my skin is really red, I use this. It's Estee Lauder. It's uh, what was this called again? Double wear maximum cover. Now this stuff covers everything. Now I don't like heavy makeup. I'm not big on that, but if my skin is really red, I will use this and that together. So I'll put a little bit of that and let's all kind of do half and half, half and half and use this. And the coverage is so much better. Now, if your skin is really red, of course, you probably just want to use this alone. But this stuff is amazing. This is expensive, unfortunately, but because I don't use very much and I don't do my makeup very often, uh, the Estee Lauder, this thing, this tube lasts me, I don't know, it's really old. I'm supposed to probably should have thrown it away by now. It's one fluent ounce. Uh, 30 milliliters, and I've had this for probably, God, two years. You get your money's worth. Probably two years. So to me, it's 50 bucks, but it's worth it because it's lasting me forever. Right. So I love this stuff. Uh, it doesn't make me break out. Neither one makes makes me break out, which is huge because you know, especially I'm older. I don't. I'm want to be like a teenager with my face breaking out uh it my face breaks out if i'm stressed out of course but the makeup has not done that right. and then this stuff this stuff's pretty incredible uh a smash box photo finish now for days like today um i use this i use this before i put those on so because the lights and the camera and you know i want my skin to look smooth as possible this stuff is not going to hide everything you know it's very it's clear but it kind of smooths out your face and if you have big pores like i do that stuff is amazing and then this is just a combination of these two things. This little pot I keep in my, in my. Oh, I should have said more about this because everybody's watching. Uh, the photo finish is by Smashbox. Um, it's oil free, and this stuff is really. I, they to, uh, They say wonderful things about it, and I, I have to agree. It's really great stuff. And they have is, different ones. They have is, different tints. Is there any aloe vera? And this no. This is just about smoothing your skin. It's, oh, about, right. it's about having a photo taken and, and your face looking flawless as possible, which is hard if you have big pores. That, that kind of thing pores. stands out. Yeah, so I this, don't wear makeup. But this pores. is clear. So, but, but Smashbox has different tints. They have uh, some that help cover redness more. Um, it immediately, it, like, I immediately thought of aloe vera when I saw it because it's clear. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I, it, it, it like does it kind of have that. Okay. It has that kind of, it's almost perfectly that clear. Texture, it's, it has a little like, bit of a, yeah, it has, a, it's a very smooth texture. The mm-hmm. texture is actually here. I mean, to just give you a tiny little tip. I'm not going to use this. No, don't use it, but just not feel, just feel how, how smooth it is. And it doesn't smell bad. 
No, I want to smell it. Doesn't, it doesn't, I can't smell it at yeah, all. It, that's what yeah, I'm it's saying. very smooth. Yeah, it doesn't smell. It has. Very, it, it, it doesn't have. Is it it's water based? It it's probably has something like a glycerin or something in it. I would yeah, guess something smooth. like that. It's very very smooth. Right. Okay. And now I have this tiny little thing. And now we get these pots. They're probably a little bit smaller now at Sephora. If you go into Sephora, which is one of my favorite places, because pretty much anything I need I can find there and you get points after a while and then you get the points you get these little free things it's not nothing big but sometimes I get something free, free that, I, that I haven't tried before and right. I'm like oh so I discover new things like uh, I should have brought that in here but it's a black jack or jack black I'm sorry I was gonna say it the wrong way it's a mud facial thing you can either use it as a cleanser or put it on that like, leave it on your skin for five minutes it has I think it has like glycolic acid in it Charcoal, and that helps maybe yeah, it's a charcoal face. It's either a face wash or you can just leave it on for five minutes and then rinse it off. Mm -hmm. And my skin looks amazing after because it, it it's like removes any of the dead layer of skin that's on your face. And then it has like a little lightweight uh, moisturizer. I, I don't have a lot to say about the moisturizer. The moisturizer is kind of thin. I mean, it doesn't seem to really do much. But the the charcoal face wash or whatever, that it's like a mask or a wash. You can use it either way. Uh, that stuff is amazing. My skin looks pretty cool. And that was something that I got as a gift uh either because I purchased something or maybe, I think maybe it was my birthday gift. And I really love that stuff and I've been telling people about it because my skin looked amazing after using it. Jack Black? Uh, yeah. That's the actor. <laughs> well, when I kept pointing, call it Black Jack. Because right. of being a dealer all these years. I but wonder, it's, but Jack Black, I don't, I don't think it's him. I don't, I don't I, believe it has anything well, to do with there, him. Well, is there, and I hate to go so far off a topic, but is there any way, like, could, could, could he, like, does he have, I wonder if he has, like, that name copyrighted. I, I don't know, because... I mean, I imagine this is makeup. This isn't, right. you know what it's I mean? Right, something so, totally separate. And it's a right. guy. So I could see if it was a girl, that might be more important. But him being a guy and right, this right, being right, right. makeup, it's, it's not, so, yeah. you know. I mean, right. not to say that guys don't wear makeup, because they do in, the, in Hollywood he, he and whatnot. He might be connected but, to it. Though. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, I never know. I didn't think even think, think of that. Think yeah, because the first that. thing I thought, when you said Blackjack, I'm like, didn't Jack I'll, Black? I'm like, wait, School of Rock? All I kept thinking was that I kept saying it. <laughs> Tenacious I kept, D? I kept inverting it. <laughs> like right. Black, Jack, Blackjack instead of Jack Black. So this little pot we get... It's a, it's a little tiny round thing that we get at Sephora when you get samples. They're a little bit tinier now. This is the older one I had. But I filled this up with my mixture of the two that I just told you about, the Estee Lauder and the um, the uh, Pixie H2O Skin Tint. I, I put a little bit of both of those in there, and I put them in my purse. So that way, if I have to touch up later, maybe um, maybe it's a really hot day or I went, you know, went in the pool or whatever. For whatever reason, your face you know, you, maybe you're out, for, you've had a long day, you need to touch up. It's nice to have this tiny little thing in my purse. So I use this, I keep this in my purse. Now, this little wonderful thing here, there's, you can buy any brand you want. This was a no name brand. I just picked it up. I cannot tell you what this is called because I can't read it anymore. Everything's come off. It's a cream colored little eye pencil. Now, this is kind of, could have multiple uses really. I mean, you could touch up, if you had a little dot in your face, you could touch it up. Um, this I use though in the in the waterline in my eyes. Now my eyes tend to get a little red sometimes, and I notice when I use this in the waterline, it seems to brighten up. Now it's a nice little beige color. It's not white, but it does make your eyes look a lot brighter. So I pretty much use this all the time if I think of it. Sometimes I forget, but if my eyes are red. I definitely use this, and it it definitely counteracts the redness that my eyes seem to have. And then this um, another thing. <laughs> Expensive, it's like 50 something dollar, $55. Uh, this is uh, Chanel. It's, mm -hmm. what's it called? Double Perfection Luminaire Long Wearing Flawless Sunscreen Powder Makeup. Now, why I like this and the Estee Lauder actually is I think they both have a little bit of sunscreen, but this definitely does. And um, I also use coconut oil on my skin before I put any of this stuff on because right. that's how I moisturize. So I use coconut oil literally from head to toe in my hair, on my skin, everything. I need to re up. Um, I just ran out of coconut yeah, oil. Yeah, I love, like I love it. And the real stuff, not the stuff that you get that has all the other Virgin. stuff. The stuff that you, you go to the cooking aisle where your food right. is and buy that coconut right. oil that's the good stuff and the virgin coconut oil yeah yeah oil. the unrefined. unrefined if you can get the refined if you don't like the smell but honestly if you get the the one the one that has all the benefits still because i haven't processed it to death um the smell goes away it, you'll smell the coconut first but it definitely goes away mm -hmm. and it has all the properties that you want it has healing properties and so uh it's a mild uh, uh sunblock in it you know and it's just it's wonderful stuff so this stuff Right but coconut here. oil has a mild sunblock. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, nothing. It's that. nothing big. Right. Like my face is a little. So, 
I like this because I can just do this, pat up a little bit. I'm like, okay, I'm good. My face gets a little oily sometimes, um, depending on the day, and it was a little warm today. But this stuff has, once again, another thing that lasts me forever. I've had this for at least a year now. And for, for, for others with fibromyalgia and other, um, other things that they, they suffer from, sunblock is very important. Yes, right? it's very important. Um, so uh, because I'm, my skin is sensitive, a lot of, those, a lot of the sunblock moisturizers um, make my skin either more oily or maybe break out a little bit because I have rosacea. So if you have rosacea, you know, these things I love. I can say more wonderful things about them. And it's important that, you know, I use other things as well, but these are the most important things as far as my skin. But all these wonderful brushes I have, um, I get a lot of things from Sephora, a few, th some Sephora, a th a few things from MAC, because I love MAC, um, like this, this uh, bronzer. But that's not important. What I really was trying to, to express here is that, you know, I know that we all go through this, this uh, irritation, our skin looks red, our eyes look red. Okay, now this stuff is the holy grail. This is not makeup, this is my eye drops. Now, my eyes get so dry and they burn because I have allergies really bad, environmental and food, as I've told you all before. And my eyes will be on fire sometimes. And this stuff is uh, Refresh America. It's called Refresh Optive Lubricant Eye Drops, long lasting hydration. Lubricating and hydrating formula penetrates the surface to relieve dryness. Now this stuff is awesome. It has carbox, methyl cell cellulose sodium, and glycerin. I believe the glycerin is the part where you Put these eye drops in your eyes, it's heaven. Your eyes feel so good. And whatever burning or irritation you may be feeling will go away instantly. I have a little one I carry around in my purse and then this one that I use at home. Uh, I've been using this almost every day because my allergies have been so tremendously bad. But uh, this little bottle, it's how many ounces? It's 0.5 fluid ounces. This little bottle costs me about $15, I think it was. Yeah, about 15 bucks. But it's worth it. Um, Yes, it's so worth it. The stuff, uh, because anybody who has allergies, you, you have the itchy, dry eyes, and then if they get red, sometimes our eyes get so red that you don't even, <laughs> you don't even want to look at anybody because it looks like- Because they think you're high. It's or it looks like you're high or something, or it's, it's really bad. They get really bad, and, and if right. your eyes get really dry, like my, my, when I wake up sometimes, my eyes will be dry, I'll have crust in the corners of my eyes, I know it sounds gross, but, but my eyes get so dry, they're watery and, and irritated from the allergy of whatever it is outside that's bothering me. Um, I think it's some trees that were planted from the house recently because I noticed it's been worse since those were planted, so it's probably that I'm having an allergic reaction to. But this stuff, I can't talk about how wonderful it is more uh, because if it wasn't for this, I think I'd be so miserable right That's now. That's more expensive than Visine. I mean. um, it is more expensive and, and, and it's, for, it's, it's safer for people uh, Right. That have, you know, mm -hmm. issues like we do. Yeah. You know, I mean, you want, you want something that's going to that's gonna work. not, yeah, it's going to work and you're not worried about any extra irritations, you know, more, right. more irritations than you're already dealing with. And the glycerin in it is, is just, that's what makes it feel so wonderful. And that's the coolness. The, the yeah. Just yes. It's very smooth. And, um, what I had, um, I used to wear contacts way back when. I and did too. I hated contacts. I hated them. And when I was younger, I was still able to be active. Even though I was in pain a lot, I, I still was able to be active. My joints were still good. I was young. And so I used to go dirt bike riding and motorcycle riding and play sports and everything. And, um, and uh, the sports that I like to do like dirt bike riding, for example, were the worst. Horseback riding too, all the dirt kicking the up. Yeah, so my eyes would be so dry. So uh, I finally went and had LASIK, uh, LASIK surgery done. Mm -hmm. And it was the best decision I ever made. And I remember uh, my husband and I, we weren't married yet. We, were, we just got together. Uh, we went and had it done together. And I remember the next day we woke up and we were like, oh my God, I can see you. It was the best thing ever. Oh, you guys both got it done. Yeah, we so had it done. Guys at the, in this, like in the same day, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we both went the same day. And it's so cute because he didn't want to to watch the surgery, but I'm this curious. So I watched the first person before me mm -hmm. get theirs done so you can watch a video of getting it done. And it's so cool. Um, it's cool. It sounds creepy, but it's cool. So they, they pin your eye let your eyelids back. They put like these contraptions. Like, uh, like in Clockwork Orange? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Right. So they, they, they put these clamps in there and pin your eyes back or, t or tape them back, you know. Right. And uh, so they go in there and they put the stuff in your eyes and then they zip, this, make this little like half moon and they flip it back. You can't see anything. It goes completely black. Can you feel it? 
Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not painful. It's you, just you, that you can just feel some kind of you, something. I mean, I don't even remember if I felt that, actually. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe. I maybe could feel something, but nothing was painful. It was completely painless. I think they give you, like, a mild sedative, like, like for anxiety or whatever, mm -hmm. and then that's it. But it's but because I was prepared, you know, I knew what was happening because I watched the video. Um, it was a big deal to me, so everything they were doing, I knew what was happening. And uh, so they, they do that little bzzz, and then I didn't make a sound. I'm just making my own noises. Right. Um, they flip up. Uh, flip it up. They, they zap your eye for like 10, 20 seconds. It's so, it's so quick. It happens so fast. They did it within minutes. Um, then they put it back down and they use something with glycerin in it. That's what made me think of it. And they, they, I remember them putting it in your eye and like rubbing your eye. And I was like, Oh, That's that so feels great, so yeah. good. <laughs> it really was soothing. And then they go to your other eye and do the same thing. And it was really, really fast. It was completely worth it. Um, it cost me like, uh, I, I had a discount. I had a discount because I was working with the Agua Caliente at the time, and it was like, so I ended up paying like 3500 for it to get done. But I Agua Caliente? Yeah. Hot water? Yeah, yeah. What is that? Uh, Agua, I saw Agua Caliente. Agua, Agua, Agua uh, it's a casino in uh, okay, Rancho okay. Mirage. All right. Agua Caliente. And um, so they, they have this, uh, this deal that you get, I think it was like $1,500 off or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so it was $3,500. It was the best money I ever spent because it was so wonderful to be able to see and not have to worry about the dirt and, the, you know, getting my contacts. And it was it was the best thing ever. And I just can't, I, I will never forget waking up and being able to being see. Able like, to see because you had to put these things on your, you had to walk around with these dark glasses all day right. the first day. Those very and then, strange, they're like the blue blockers. Yes, yes. And, the, and they, they. <laughs> <laughs> like, like 70 year old people walk around with yes. these blue blockers. Yeah, I know what you're Yes. Like when you get the eye thing, yes, yes, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. yeah. When they do your, they, the pupils dilate, mm -hmm. so yeah. They, yeah, yeah. So everything's so bright, so yeah. they wear them really just like that, exactly. Right. But underneath the glasses, we had these plastic things that they tape to our face that we had to wear um, because you don't want to touch your eyes or rub your eyes because it could screw up everything they just did. Right. So you wake up the next day with these things on your eyes, and like there's like little holes through it so you can see. And uh, so I wake up and take those off, and I'm like, oh my god, I can see. It was yeah. so. It was like the best. It was the best thing. It was I, such awesome. See, I couldn't. I, I was too lazy for contacts. I, I would always go to sleep with them in. Then I did I'd that wake sometimes. Up the next day, and I, I did my sometimes. Eyes would be red and irritated, yep. and it's like ah, oh, forget about it. Yep. So that's and I like glasses. I look smarter. And sometimes I would do that and just pop them out, rinse them off real quick, and put right. them back that's in. That's what I again. do. I yeah. do the same thing, but your eyes would still be irritated. Mm -hmm. Your eyes, your eyes would be irritated because if you keep them in too often, they would end up with like calcium deposits right. on them, and so then it would start irritating your eyes. Right. Yeah. So you know you have to keep them clean, but when you don't, but although they did come out with some that I started wearing that you they were made they were meant to be kept to in your eyes for a few days. Yeah. So I think it was like three days or something like that. There were some that for a week but I didn't see the point in that because I'm like really a week like it seems like there'd still be some irritation there so right. but I, I did use the ones you keep in a few days because I, I would just forget you just so tired you forget and, yeah you, know, you don't I you're stay so watching. used to seeing that's right. the beauty of waking up and being able to see like yeah. I don't have to do this anymore like yeah. I'm horrible at like self that's why I'm bald because mm -hmm. I'm not going to brush my hair <laughs> I just cut it off. Like I'm not, I'm not doing that. That's too extra. Like I'm not putting it in contact. Let's put my glasses on. Like that's a, it, seriously, my hair being long like this. You'd think it's more work, but it's actually because I used to cut my own hair. I've been cutting my own hair since I was a kid. I learned to do all that. I never went to school for it, but I just picked things up really quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I've been doing my own hair and putting layers in it, doing all these wonderful curls, and it was you know beautiful and everything. But it's very time consuming and. As, as time went on, these last I don't, this, in these last five years, I started changing the way I was doing things. And so the last two years, I just stopped curling my hair. I stopped blow drying it because I was drying it out. I stopped curling it because my arms would, I'd just be tired. I'd just be too, too tired. It's already spent, I feel like I spent enough time doing my makeup. So I'm like, you know, I don't really feel like doing my hair. So I just maybe put a couple, throw a couple curls because my hair has wave in it anyway. So I just started just after a while, like if I'm running late or going somewhere and I'm like, just, I would basically wash and go, my hair would be wet when we leave. And it just started growing like crazy. So now my hair is down to my waist now. And, and, and it grew so quickly, but literally all I do is wash my hair and that's it. I throw my hair up on top of my head, do my makeup. When I'm done, I take it down and then it just dries it just until, and I'm done. Right. That's it. And I'm like, this is the best thing I could have ever done. I wish I had did this a long time ago. The only thing that's time consuming is when I put this color in my hair. Um, okay. Um, when I put this color in my hair, because I have so much hair, it takes me like an hour to get it in. So I use the Manic Panic and I put, uh, I mix it with conditioner. So that way I get whatever shade I like, sometimes lighter, sometimes darker. And then I put it in throughout my hair and I make sure it's in there good. And then I wrap it up, put a, put a plastic cap, put a towel around it and then sit around and do whatever for two hours. And then when, once I rinse it out, the color is beautiful. My hair's soft. It smells good. 
And I'm like, it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's a little time consuming, like I said, putting it in. Mm -hmm. So my arms get tired sometimes. So I have to find a day that I'm, when I'm feeling good to do it. Cause otherwise it's really, it's really tiring. But on the days when I'm feeling good and I get it done, it's, it's actually quick and easy. My hair feels amazing afterwards. Right. So, okay. I uh, just, I just, yeah, I just kept my <laughs> I don't want yeah it. nothing's easier than that. <laughs> right. Yeah, can't beat that. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so my routine has been cut down quite short. I used to take, and it used to take me such a long time because I move slowly. I don't, I, I lose track of time and my, my love is always like, honey, you know what time it is, honey, you know what time it is. And mm -hmm. so now not so much of that because I'm, I'm just doing my makeup and that's it. So I get done a lot faster than we were before. It take me a couple hours to get ready. You know, now it's about an hour, 45 right. minutes or something, you know, and that's, you know, getting, getting my shower and putting my makeup on or whatever and getting dressed, you know, right about an hour. So that's not bad. Whereas before it took me forever and, you know, taking a shower, you all know how that can be. Taking a shower can be work all by itself. So, right. you know, I take a shower. It's uh, about two if, spoons. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's just a couple spoons if you're already feeling, if you're having a decent day mm -hmm. because you, you have that energy to do more things. But if it's a, if it's a rough day, it, it's a lot of spoons. So sometimes I'll... Out of 12, you're it, using about six spoons. Just to yeah. Let's, right. Yeah. So, so if, if 12 is even the right number, I forgot to check on that. Um, but uh, if you're having a bad day, sometimes you're just going to skip the shower, especially if you're not going anywhere. I'm not mm -hmm. going anywhere. I didn't do anything to get dirty. I've just been sleeping and home in my bed. And I'm like, okay, you know, I don't, I don't need a shower. I don't wash my hair every day. I know some people have to wash their hair every day. I used to be one of those people that had to wash my hair every day because it would get a little oily and along the, the scalp and the top. Mm -hmm. But ever since I started using Wen, um, another thing that's kind of pricey, but once again, I What's make it, called, it I make it last when, yeah, and that's it's a, a conditioning shampoo. Okay. And so it's, it's all, two in one. It's, it's two in one. Um, and, there's different ones for different hair types and some of them smell amazing. And, uh, this stuff is like 30, $32, something like that. Um, and it's supposed to, you, they tell you to use this outrageous amount of pumps, like 16 for my hair. I'm probably supposed to be using like 18 pumps or something of this stuff. I don't do that. I really worry. I really concentrate on my scalp. So I pump and put a little bit around the edge, you know, around my face, around my neck, and then uh, down the center, a couple on the side, and then get my hair a little bit wet again, and then just put it out throughout and leave it in there for 10 minutes and shave or whatever, you know, do everything else so that um, my hair, it soaks into my hair and then rinse it out. That's right. it. That's all I can do. And maybe put a little bit on the ends, you know, or throughout, you know, depending on how dry my hair may be. Um, and it's really simple. And because I don't use as much as they say, it lasts me a long, once again, it lasts me a long time. I use the minimal. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, wasteful when it comes to my makeup or my shampoo or anything. I'll get every, squeeze every bit of my toothpaste out of my tube. Right. I squeeze every bit. I will turn things upside down so it all comes to the top. I'm very, very uh, particular about getting all of it. I'm not wasteful when it comes to any That's products. I and I don't care how much it costs. I want all of the product. Right. And some things are not made for you to get all the product. And there's some some things like two years. Let's let's say, right. huh? Two years. Yes, yeah, so about two years, years, maybe a little bit longer. It's I've had a long time, and it's still great. It doesn't make me break out. Right. Um, a tube like this, for example, um, you can get most of it out. But I bet you, once I get down to it, I would I would cut it cut open, it open. And to I've get the rest. It. You I've know, done it before. I will cut the rest. Cut it open just to get the rest because why not? Especially when this thing costs like fifty five dollars yeah. or fifty dollars. Right. So, so yeah, I use everything. I try not to use too much of anything, and I try to get every drop of it out. So I don't like to be wasteful. Smart consumer. Yes. So even though some of the things are expensive, they last me such a long time that it's completely worth it to me. Right. So it's better having the good products that last a long time. I've tried the, the cheaper products, and some there are some knockoffs and things that are cheaper that you can find that are good, and you might be able to find something that's comparable. Um, but I've had, I haven't had the best luck. These don't want to sit on my head right. I haven't had the best luck with some of the less expensive things. I've found that they break out, and because I have these allergies, I have to be more particular. So once I find something, I'm very loyal. I will stick with it until it no longer works and change the formula. Even my nail girl, like, uh, I'll, I go get the gel on my nails because I, I can't stand the smell of acrylic anymore. It's so, it's so dreadful. Um, she has been my nail girl for like nine years now. So I'm very, very loyal to whoever I, if I find someone that does something right, I stick with them as long as I can until they stop or I don't need it anymore. So um, anyway, so those are my tips uh, for what I do every, well, not every day, but when I go out and about. And uh, I'm happy to have shared uh, Katie Keys, her blog, it was very cute. And uh, once again, this little lovely bracelet here, Fiber Warrior bracelet, I will, uh, 
put the link along with the podcast when this comes out next Saturday. Or not next Saturday, but this following Saturday. And uh, I love it. I wear it all the time. It's really beautiful. It's made of leather, like a suede, and then like a regular leather. leather. And then the fiber wore is very easy to read. Um, the clasp is the only thing I would say it's a little bit difficult to do myself. So I have to ask someone to do the clasp. That's the only thing I would say that I don't like about the bracelet is the clasp is difficult for me. Um, some other people might be a little more nimble than I am, and it would be fine. It's, it is a lobster clasp. It's a nice clasp but it's just still difficult for me. So I'm trying to think if I could find another way. But anyway, I love this bracelet. And thank you so much, uh, Katie and her husband, Richie, for sending me this. It's beautiful. And so if you guys want one, they're lovely. And I think they're, they're also, um, not I think, they are also selling t-shirts as well. So they will find that on the link. And uh, so that about wraps it up. Before you close out. Yes. <clears throat> um, I would encourage others who listen to send in your, what, what, what are you the journeys, your, the journey, well, yes. not, not only the journeys, but would you just, what, what would you call oh, the would blog? You, no, the makeup. What, what, what would you call that? The, the, your makeup the routine? tutorial, whatever the, you, the things you use, what, what you find to be helpful. Oh yes. Yeah. So talking about what makes, what works yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Send it, send it, you know, send in the like things you, you all use, you know? Yeah. If you, if you absolutely, you know what, that's, that's a really good point. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Awesome point. Yep. Um, you know, we, we have things that we find that help us make things easier in life. Everything from what we eat to what we what we do on a daily basis, uh, how we get our how we get through our day, anything that makes our day more simple, like our makeup routine or how you take your shower or you know what you do with your hair, anything that you think that that works wonderfully for you that you think you you could share with the rest of us that might help someone else, yeah, please please do send it in and share it. I would absolutely love that. Um, the more uh, people that want to send it in, the more stuff I have to talk about. So uh, anyway, thank you for that, JoJo. Definitely. All right, you guys. Oh, and journeys always. Please send in your journeys. The more journeys, the better we can share with more people. And uh, so I think that about wraps it up. All right, thank you all so much for listening. And as always, you're not alone. Love y'all. Love y'all. I'm telling you, just keep trying. Don't give up until we find something that gets us through the day. And don't let uh, people bully you and tell you that you're not sick just because you don't look sick. Don't let them do it. You stand by uh, your, your decision to tell people. And if they don't believe you, then don't waste your time. Because if they don't believe you, they're probably not going to believe you. They're probably never going to believe you. And you're just going to waste your breath trying to get them to believe you. So you just stick to your guns. You do your thing. You take care of yourself. You fight for yourself. And hopefully you have someone in your life, um, which I'm lucky I do. That I have my love that will fight with you. And, um, and if you don't have someone in your life, reach out to me. I'm always here. I'm always here for you. If you need to talk about anything, anything, just message me, email us, whatever. Um, it's always posted. I post those things. You guys can reach.